Uh, hi. <clears throat> Today I want to speak about one thing that could look in abstract and uh, maybe hard uh, uh, to understand it, but it's very um, useful and uh, very resourceful um, thing for broadening horizons of uh, art therapy and uh, understanding uh, the processes ar around about uh, understanding uh, the space, using the space. And um, this uh, phenomena uh, is coming from Japanese culture and it's called the uh, space of Ma or Ma. And uh, I found uh, some ideas that uh, could be used in art, uh, music, drama, therapy, uh, or in expressive arts facilitate, facilitation um, that could use uh, space of ma and uh, bring in something uh, <clears throat> uh, therapeutic and uh, playful into the field of art. First, let's uh, go to uh, looking on kanji uh, ma uh, and um, let's try uh, discover what is ma let's try to understand it um, here we see a ma kanji uh, that's looking quite uh, impressive and I think that uh, just by looking on this image uh, uh, possible to get uh, some ideas about what is ma uh, because um, such, such pictogram could give us um, a key uh, to the meaning of this world uh, and let's move to it that uh, ma um, consists from two symbols one symbol is the door or gate and another one is sun and uh, we see that uh, in front uh, line is uh, kanji door and behind it kanji sun and uh, we, we if to look on it uh, we could guess that it's uh, like we could see from the window the sunlight if if to look on it uh, directly um, or we could see um, that uh, uh, it could have a meaning about uh, uh, giving a space uh, for sun, giving um, uh, giving a, uh, a corridor for sunlight, because we open in the door uh, or open in gate, and for and we open in it for light, because the sun is always uh, a symbol of light. Uh, of something positive, warm, and uh, uh, wisdom also. Um, and uh, if to look philosophic on it, mice is the space um, uh, between the ages, between the beginning and the end, the space and time in which we experience life. Um, and um, Also, ma, uh, we could feel ma in our body, in our space, in the words, in music, in art. And uh, um, next, I will show uh, the examples of it. And uh, we need ma for having uh, um, a time or to have for having a chance. Uh, to have a space for something uh, that uh, is important for us, to have a space for us in us, um, inside of us or outside of us. Space is very important and uh, my is a kind of psychological um, symbol of space, uh, but also it could be physical if to look on it uh, deeply. And uh, we need ma and we need uh, to slow down a little bit for getting ma, uh, for observing ma, 
uh, because when we hurry, uh, it's hard um, to see anything uh, uh, in its, uh, uh, how it's looking like. So, uh, my is for creativity, my is the freedom of creativity, because my is a space for creativity, my is a space for uh, our own uh, uh, art. <sighs> Let's move uh, mm. Ma, uh, we could see Ma in nature, we could see uh, that uh, Ma is uh, nothingless or emptiness, uh, but it's not a negative uh, meaning. Uh, even if uh, uh, Japanese culture given um, words that describes Ma as negative space, but it means that it is space not uh, minus or plus, it's uh, plus, it's just a space, space that could be filled, uh, space could, that could be filled by um, thoughts, by uh, images, by art, uh, by music, by dance, uh, by, by uh, architecture objects, and um, uh, Ma can create tension that brings a small relief when the next phrase eventually begins. Um, so, uh, Ma is a kind of uh, dimension, special dimension for ourself, special dimension for expressing, expressing something that's important for us, or a space for not uh, expressing anything. Ma is Ma, and... Uh, Ma is everywhere. Um, of course, uh, Ma relates to all aspects of life. Uh, it could be described as a pause in time, as an interval or emptiness in space. Uh, Ma is a fundamental time and space that needs to grow. Off. And uh, uh, if, if we don't have uh, um, space for us, it's hard to grow. Uh, it's hard to uh, build something uh, on the roots of our creativity. And uh, we need Ma for our development, for giving uh, ourselves uh, this breath that could bring uh, a life to our art object, for example. <clears throat> And let's move uh, to ideas how we could use Ma in art therapy and in eco art therapy, for example. And uh, we could use experience of Ikebana and uh, uh, observe it and uh, try to meditate during making Ikebana and uh, take it as a uh, uh, therapy as uh, uh, sim spontaneous uh, uh, creativity, uh, spontaneous uh, um, communicating with uh, life objects, uh, uh, with uh, flowers or uh, with um, wood, with plants, with uh, rocks, and uh, in uh, my in Ikebana that we could use in eco art therapy, for example, or just put Ma in other objects of eco art therapy with remembering Ikebana experience. Uh, uh, shape uh, uh, shape uh, uh, of Ikebana could be transformed uh, for showing Ma. And here we see uh, that uh, a kind of hole inside the uh, uh, this uh, uh, Ikebana uh, project, and uh, like from this uh, hole is uh, coming um, the rose, and uh, we see how and we see how it, it express uh, the sense of ma. Um, in this uh, place, uh, you have a space for grow, and from it growing uh, a flower, and. Uh, 
if to look deeply, it's a very good uh, uh, example of uh, ma. Uh, when we observe Ikebana, we are encouraged uh, to step back to appreciate the whole form. And um, uh, we uh, could, uh, when we created the Kibana, we could meditate on it and uh, uh, to absorb our breathing and um, give uh, the Ma to breathe uh, inside of us and outside of us and uh, to make Ma visual. Kibana helps a so interesting way to see Ma, how it uh, could be expressed in the space. And um, Ma is also connected with uh, the idea of invisible energy, invisible energy that uh, sleeping in this uh, space of unknown, in this space between uh, here and now, uh, in this and uh, in, in this um, space, we, when we get this ma, we getting this invisible energy that uh, feed us. Uh, here is also uh, an example of Ikebana, very um, uh, is with a space with a shape of a circle we could see this mass space and really it's how it's also looking uh, like mandala and it's also like uh, mandala in eco art therapy possibly to use it uh, when we uh, if to talk about uh, expressive art therapy when we could uh, use poetry as a, a, a therapeutic way to express our feelings and speaking about our uh, nowadays life. Uh, uh, in Japanese poetry, Ma suggests a pause in time. It takes the mind to the moment uh, that inspired the poet, suggesting that we complete, uh, contemplate uh, uh, that moment, experience it for ourselves. Um, for example, Konoma, meaning among trees, sets a vivid scene. Yet at the same time, uh, the moment is open for individual interpretation. I decided to read it, these words because here is so uh, great uh, expressed uh, this idea uh, of using this um, pause uh, during creation poetry and how this uh, uh, pause uh, could help us to look uh, deeply on uh, the scene that we are trying to express through our poetry. How um, this space uh, giving uh, <clears throat> openness to individual interpretation. And um, we could, uh, during uh, making poetry on our expressive arts um, facilitation or <clears throat> during uh, expressive art therapy we could um to think about this pause with our clients and uh, with ourselves um, to make this pause to observe this pause and to see what's coming during this pause and um we <clears throat> could imagine this um, space among the trees and I think uh, this phrase among the trees is very inspirational. And um, if to use it uh, on um, these uh, sessions when we, where we use uh, poetry, <clears throat> it could bring uh, something new to our process of uh, therapy or facilit facilitating. Mm, here we are coming to <clears throat> for my in drama therapy. In my previous video, I was speaking about uh, no uh, drama, uh, no therapeutic, no theater, and no theater in Japanese culture, and um, and no theater exists. Uh, uh, this concept of ma too, and exists uh, very uh, deeply. 
and uh, uh, drama, some drama therapists uh, using um, different uh, meanings of ma. Uh, for example, uh, the creator of therapeutic nurture, uh, Dr. Hiltonian, um, uh, created such um, idea of my moment and so uh, that coming on stage uh, uh, and experienced by audience when a masked actor or dancer is able to be totally present in stillness and silence and the projects transpersonally beyond his or her body ego consciousness and uh, <clears throat> It's uh, a time of observing this spa, this space of ma during action and no action, and um, uh, it helps the audience and uh, the actor or um, drama therapist uh, uh, to see what's not act acted or what's not. Uh, what what wasn't said during this performance what stayed behind um, and uh, it's bringing very uh, interesting insights i think uh, in every case uh, any any in every case every uh, insight are very precious i think <clears throat> uh, and uh, uh, during uh, also face-to-face, uh, -face, for example, uh, communication uh, on the session between therapist and uh, uh, client. Uh, therapist creates ma, such a kind of living, living pause which connects mind of therapist and mind of client. And uh, um, this reflects of moment also in no theater, uh, this uh, when uh, um, the actor uh, actor showing his microcosm to the audience audience and it's coming behind the words without words invisible and um, uh, the microcosm of audience coming to uh, the actor and they exchange their um, emotions and uh, thoughts by but without uh, communication. It's uh, such an invisible uh, and spiritual exchange of energies. And it's also ma, this living pause, uh, this uh, connection of mind pause. Um, and in no theater exists interesting thing that uh, when actor don't do anything, it's the most interesting than uh, when actor acting when uh, it's coming performance uh, because it's um because in this uh, no action um, hides the sense uh, coming this spontaneous uh, mm, uh, sp this spontaneous uh, move to uh, the hana to the flower to the talent to the uh, the reason <clears throat> why this um, Thatcher play is uh, performing and uh, no no Thatcher showing uh, Ma through uh, this uh, dynamic balance between object and space action and inaction sound and silence mo movement and rest if we take it for drama therapy and we will be making such pauses between acting or non-acting, non uh, between <laughs> music, silence. Uh, we will see what is uh, uh, inside uh, these uh, pauses. So what does it mean, these pauses? <clears throat> and uh, of course, Ma uh, is brightly could uh, appear in uh, art therapy connected with painting. For example, during Sumiyo, uh, artists uh, of Sumiyo know uh, this mass space and uh, they expressing it in their art. And uh, um, 
But for example, if we are just making uh, art therapy or art, art uh, uh, or expressive art facilitating uh, a session, we could uh, try to create uh, an object, a pa uh, painting, we create painting <clears throat> and give a space inside this painting uh, by uh, not filling it with color, for example, for staying these empty spaces on painting, like here on this picture, on, uh, on calligraphy, uh, on sumio calligraphy. And uh, after making this uh, uh, empty space, we could reflect what this empty space uh, is talking to us. Uh, because this empty space is a kind of dimension for something more, I think. And um, we could look how brush making this empty space, what um, lines and dots uh, coming from our brush, how, how, uh, it, uh, how our brush tra transforms into this empty space. And what uh, the rhythm uh, has our hand when we are painting it by brush. Uh, so here is very interesting how Ma could appear uh, by uh, using hand and uh, painting tubes and how we are painting it, how and, it, and it's um, help, helping uh, appear Ma in our body because we, we, are, we are creating Ma by hands, by body moving. What's, what helps us to get Ma? Uh, it's, uh, I'm looking on this uh, picture and uh, how it uh, meditative, how it uh, deep, really. And uh, we could use uh, such uh, empty spaces in our job. Uh, here I want to show such uh, installations uh, of uh, artists uh, that showing their uh, ideas of Ma. We could use installation in uh, sculpture making, for example, or in uh, when we're making something from, from paper. Uh, we could use, we could um, express Ma by using clay during art therapy or expressive arts therapy uh, facilitation session we could uh, show mass space by light and uh, we could see here we see directly these gates uh, and th these doors and how um, the light is coming and what could it mean for us in this sculpture installation that we will be making and also so uh, bright uh, expression of this uh, space that we need or, or hope that we need. <sighs> Ma, uh, we creating our Ma, we creating meaning of Ma for us. We could uh, look on uh, Japanese meaning of Ma, on meaning of other, artists or other uh, people but ma our ma is always our ma and what we put in into this uh, meaning is talking something about us to us and um, on such art therapy or expressive art therapy sessions we could just reflect about it what is ma for us um, after observing, for example, kanji ma. Uh, and in music therapy ma, we also could hear. We could hear it by not hearing it. And it's very interesting because 
ma it's the space between nodes melodies phrases it's uh, uh, outlining them with emptiness giving them shape because silence is giving uh, shape this pause in melody giving such a bright shape i think and um, silence really never silence silence is something and silence is also an answer for something and uh, here I have John Cage uh, very interesting uh, words. Part of the beauty of this, uh, as John Cage said, silence is never really silence. As you let your sounds fade away, you may you may them hear a truck rumble by, or the floor creak, or someone's breathing. Or if you are like me, your tinnitus in the present. Uh, ringing as an echo to the sound you create. Really, echo is also could be a ma. And when we see, uh, when we hear an echo, and we expressing this echo during music therapy, it's uh, our uh, our ma recreating our ma. And also, I want to share interesting idea that we could. Um, for example, uh, using calligraphy lessons as uh, um, art therapy uh, or expressive arts uh, facilitation sessions, uh, and we could express our sense of ma by calligraphy drawing of ma country and observing this space inside uh, these two kanji characters, and uh, we could look and meditate on it thinking about ma and uh, because uh, such um, pictograms as uh, ma uh, unconsciously giving us something um, important giving us message through ages what uh, ancient people mean about ma we could get it just by observing this um, uh, kanji. So I think it's uh, also a good idea. And uh, let's uh, think about uh, all of these ideas and uh, I uh, will share the links about uh, Ma um, that also very interesting. <clears throat> and in these links below <clears throat> uh, you could get uh, your uh, ideas of using ma in your art or in your art therapy or expressive arts uh, uh, facilitation sessions. <clears throat> so uh, ma, um, ma, could, ma could give us res uh, such an interesting resource for uh, developing our uh, profession, I think. And for developing our uh, vision of art, for developing our uh, communication with the space, because uh, uh, here always uh, uh, so much space around us, but we don't see it and we can't uh, feel it. But through meditating on Ma, we could uh, find this space and uh, to make on this space a new life.